let's start decorating page three. Here we go. I've got the A sides planned and I'm gonna come back and do the B sides in a little bit. So this is very simple. We've got two flaps and I'm gonna verify the size. They are five, five by six. And you're gonna score a half inch on the five inch side. I'm gonna get two of those. They're gonna be centered <clears throat> and they're gonna flap up and down. And <clears throat> okay, so these are six inches, so we're going to find our center line at three. And somehow I got in here without my pencil. Three, and then this is going to be at four inches. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to line up those tick marks as usual. I'm going to line up the flap with the one that's already placed because I want them to lay over each other nicely, which is a little bit fussy. I think actually if I turn it on the side, it will be easier. There we go. That looks pretty good. There we go. Ta-da! Okay, so I've got this from the 8x8 collection pack. It's going to go on the on the base, and that pulls in page 2, because I used this pattern on page 2. And then we're going to use the black on the bottom here, and then we're going to use the stripe on top. And then this is a cut apart from the 8x8 collection pack, I think. I actually have to go verify that. Um, but before we put our um, put these down, we're going to go ahead and place some magnets. So I'm going to put a little pencil mark here. And then I want to put a magnet above that. Well... We had a nice morning going and it started raining. And somehow I got in here without my nice fat tape. Place this here, good enough. And then one more magnet to go on the opposite side. Got my glue, be right back. All right, I'm back. So, hmm, I still have to check and see where that came from. I'm not sure. I'm 
might as well put this down as well. that's dry so it doesn't uh, stick. Okay, and then this goes on here. There we go, and then I'm gonna add this right here. I don't know if I want it centered. I'm actually gonna wait until I pull in page two and then figure out where I wanna place this because I wanna look at it side by side. Okay, page three. A side is done, so I'll pull in page two, we'll figure out where to place this, and then we'll also go ahead and do the B sides. Okay, so I'll be back shortly with um, some decisions on that, and we can look at it side by side. All right, everybody, I, two things. One, this is definitely from the 8x8 collection pack. I verified that, and then um, I picked out my papers for the B side. So we're going to do a little bit of color blocking here and here, like so which I think is cute. And then I did this little tiny cut apart. And then what is this for? I don't know. <laughs> I just have it. Um, I think, yeah, I still need to ink this, I guess. And I don't know what's the matter with me, you guys, but I got in here without my ink. So I'll be right back. Just for color blocking, I do know I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming on, um, a couple of the pieces but we'll go ahead and get the the smaller pieces down and then verify um, how these other pieces fit and trim as required okay yeah this is the plan and so these two black pieces happen to be scraps and so were these pieces so there's nothing magic about the size but I can tell you this is an inch wide And then this is definitely going to need to be trimmed down a little bit. <clears throat> Let me do that again. I, I don't think I marked it right. All right, let's test it. <clears throat> Gonna need to take off a little more. There we go. Oops, I got a little heavy on the ink there. It's a brand new pad, so I have to be careful. It is mahogany powder puff, my favorite. <clears throat> I really love the powder puffs. If you're new to the channel, um, they're they're really easy to work with. You don't need a special applicator because the base is uh, spongy. Um, so it works as your applicator, so you don't have a bunch of matching applicators everywhere. 
um, and you don't have to look for your applicator. It's actually part of the ink pad. So I really like it um, <clears throat> a lot. All right, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this one down because this one's big enough I can manage it in the, um, in the trimmer if I need to cut it down a little. Oh, oh, I thought I inked it. I can see I have some white core, or at least I missed one side. Okay. It's raining here in San Diego. We have pretty dry winters and um, what little rain we get in San Diego usually comes uh, during spring. Our mountains are full of snow, which is pretty cool to look at. I don't think I got enough glue in here, so I'm gonna try to get behind this and put a dab of glue. There we go. Okay. Now we can measure this. I think I've got it the right height, just need to make it the right width. This one's a little tough because even though I'm gonna mark it, it's really hard to see on the black. So I might have to do this a couple times just because it's hard to see the lines. Hopefully, ha ha, a little bit. No, oh, I think that's good. We're gonna go with it. How about that? Part of the reason I like this pencil, it's a hard lead. It's a five millimeter. And when you mark something, sometimes you look at it and the pencil mark is so wide, you're like, is it the middle of the pencil mark, the left or the right side? So this gives a very fine tip, which makes it easy. And the other thing is because it's a hard lead, it actually um, uh, it embosses slightly into the paper. So even if you can't see the pencil mark, you can see there's a groove where the lead um, sort of dented the paper slightly. It, it's not easy to see, but you can see it. Okay, goes like that and then here's page two I brought it in so we can make a decision so we can decide where we want to put this I think I want it I'm going back and forth <clears throat> I think I'm going to have it hang off just a little bit I just think that looks nice. So I'm gonna come back and put a strip of paper on the back side or a sticker or something so that the black isn't showing on the other side. And I'll just find a piece of paper that I have you know, that coordinates, it doesn't have to be exact. And I'm just eyeballing this, but. This is a lot going on down here. So what you really wanna do is make sure you're square to here because that's where your eyes are gonna be drawn. There we go. <clears throat> And then, like I said, I'm gonna come back and put a little strip on the back. Um, I'm not worried about that right now, I'll do it later. Probably in the embellishment phase as I'm going through and just checking all my little details. Um, when I come back to put stuff in the pockets, I'll probably focus on that. All right, so there's page two, page three, and you can see how I've um, replicated patterns across the two. I think that gives it a lot of cohesion. So that's the end of page, page three. <laughs>